my name is Vinay Jacob John. Today we are going to read from the Holy Bible, from the book of Isaiah, chapter 61. Isaiah is in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible. Isaiah 61, starting from verse 1. The Holy Spirit of the Lord God Jehovah is upon us, because the Lord God Jehovah has anointed us to preach good tidings unto the meek. Our Lord God Jehovah has sent us to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of our Lord God Jehovah and the day of vengeance of our Lord God Jehovah, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion or the throne room of our Lord God Jehovah, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy or the Holy Spirit for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord God Jehovah, that our Lord God Jehovah might be glorified. Verse 10 of Isaiah 61. Verse 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord God Jehovah. My soul shall be joyful in my Lord God Jehovah. For our Lord God Jehovah has clothed us with the garments of salvation, our Lord God Jehovah has covered us with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God Jehovah will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Let us also go to the book of Ephesians in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22. And our Lord God Jehovah Jireh has put all things under Jesus' feet and given Jesus to be the head over all things to the church, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth's own body, the fullness of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You fill us all with your Holy Spirit, Jesus. Also Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the head of the church, and Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the Savior of the body, Jesus' own people. Verse 24. The church, or Jesus' people, is subject unto you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Verse 25, Jesus Christ of Nazareth also loves the church and Jesus gave himself for the church, Jesus' own people. That Jesus Christ of Nazareth, verse 26, that Jesus Christ of Nazareth might sanctify and cleanse the body of Jesus Christ with the washing of water by the word of our living God, Jehovah. That Jesus Christ of Nazareth might present his body to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that Jesus' body or Jesus' people should be holy and without blemish. Verse 29, For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Church. For we all here in this planet Earth are members of Jesus' own body, of Jesus' flesh and of Jesus' bones. This is verse 32. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the church, Jesus' own people here in this planet earth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you everybody for listening to me. I am Vinay Jacob John. Jesus loves us all. Jesus heals us all. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.